Lied Ajax. Question. How to call business rule from client script through coding? Your answer should be, the Glide Ajax class enables a client script to call server-side code in a script include. To use Glide Ajax in a client script, follow these general steps. Create a Glide Ajax instance by calling the Glide Ajax constructor. As the argument to the constructor, Specify the name of the script include class that contains the method you want to call. Call the add param method with the sysparm underscore name parameter and the name of the script include method you want to call. Optional, call the add param method one or more times to provide the script include code with other parameters it needs. Question, how can we execute server side code in client script? Your answer should be, execute the server-side code by calling getxml. Question, what is difference between getxml and getsumAwait? Your answer should be, getxml, it is the preferred method for executing the code, because it is asynchronous and does not hold up the execution of other client code. Another method, getsumAwait. It is also available but is not recommended. Using getsumAwait ensures the order of execution, but can cause the application to seem unresponsive, significantly degrading the user experience of any application that uses it. GetsumAwait is not available to scoped applications. Question What is a record producer? Your answer should be. A record producer is a type of a catalog item that allows users to create task-based records from the service catalog. For example you can create a change record or problem record using record producer. Record producers provide an alternative way to create records through service catalog. Question, can we create record producers from tables? Your answer should be. Yes. Question. How to redirect after submitting a record producer? Your answer should be, to redirect an end user to a particular page after the record producer is submitted, define the redirect link in the script field using any of the following, producer.url underscore redirect, enables the redirect behavior within the platform UI. Producer.portal underscore redirect, enables the redirect behavior within service portal. Question, what is dictionary override? Your answer should be, dictionary overrides provides the capability to override several properties of a field in extended table. For example change table is extended from task table. There is a field named status in task table and set as read only. When we use this field in change form it will show be a read only. We can set this to non-read only by using the dictionary override. Similarly there are other properties that can be set for the fields in extended table. Question, what do you mean by coalesce? Your answer should be. Coalesce is a property of a field that we use in transform map field mapping. When we set the coalesce as true for a field mapping it signifies that this field will work as unique key. If a field match is found with the coalesce field, then existing record will be updated with the imported information in target table else a new record will be inserted into the target table. If you find this content helpful then please like and subscribe. We wish you all the